I was studying bacteria that lived in the stomach. That's how the idea started. In the last 50 years, we've concentrated, let's say, on how healthy we've become. The decline in our microbes is what's fueling the rise in these diseases. And we also see that these diseases arose during the antibiotic era, when uh, antibiotics have been so widely used and overused. With each generation, we're stepping down. We're losing microbes rapidly. I think it's happening faster, and that's why it has to be urgent. Why are microbes disappearing, and how much have they disappeared? How much did our ancestors have that we, we lack now? So we started comparing uh, ingredients of urbanization. That gives us an idea of how fast the process goes, what do we lose first, and then try to find functions there is evidence that we seem to be trading diseases. We control infectious diseases as we use medicine and become more urban, uh, but then we increase the risk of the diseases that have the underlying uh, inflammation as a common factor. And if microbes are responsible for that, in a way that's good news because we can manipulate them and we can restore. So it's a matter of decades before they will not be any more traditional peoples on Earth. We have to save those microbes before they disappear. So it's a very complex and global effort, but it really relies on a base of a network of institutions and countries that then will donate to the central vault for long-term storage. We are planning to store specimens, fecal samples, skin, and then any microbes that are derived from those samples that can be stored are also valuable with the metadata. The Microbiota Vault has been compared to Noah's Ark. It's an initiative uh, that looks for preserving the microbes from all peoples in the world until we can study them and understand how can we use them to restore health in future generations.